This is Everything Wrong with Tale of Two Cities. The fact that we had to read it. Am I right? Roast. The fact that they had a stereotypical girl character with no depth to her personality. She's 2D. Like, honestly, the paper in the book was thicker than her personality is. No build-up, no character progression, I... Uh. Okay. Um, how about the fact that no one noticed the Carton or Dard Darnay resemblance until it was necessary for the plot? Hey, like, I'm about to die. Uh, you guess he looks sort of like me, yeah. so why not? I mean, I want to live with my wife, and you're forever alone, so, I mean, I guess. Or like, how about, oh, these are two people, and then all of a sudden there's a trial, and hey, now we notice they look alike, but then after that, no one cares. <laughs> Nobody else thought, hey, you know, I mean, maybe those, those guys could be brothers, like, am I right? Roast. No. <laughs> So, how about we talk about the names of the kids in this book? Like, your parents are, already have this legacy built up. Lucy already had a legacy. But now we give you little Lucy, and she's got to live up to her mom's 2D personality, which I mean, great. What's your mom's name? Carrie. What if we called you Little Carrie? I would hate you forever. Point made. <laughs> Okay. So how about we talk about the fact that when Mr. Manet, Dr. Dr. Mr. Professor Manet, uh, was in Captured, he was making shoes, just like, hey, I'm stuck in a prison cell. I've been here for like 10 I'm plus years. shoes now. Yeah, why not just make myself a lifetime supply of shoes? Or like write about your feelings because that's what therapists say you should do. Yeah, exactly. Like. Hey, I'm alone with myself, so I'm gonna make myself friends, aka shoes. How about the fact that as soon as she's told her dad's not dead, she's like, Alright, I believe you. <laughs> no, like seriously, like my dad's been gone for 10 years and finally somebody figured out where he was. And then it's just back to one happy... Brady Bunch family, like, okay, this is fine. I'm gonna live with you and every, I'm gonna love you and it's great. Like, Brady Bunch been gone. Brady Bunch without like the weird like family yeah. like incest implied like. You never know. The Brady, they're just weird. Maybe that's why they all are so weird. True. Not to, not to stereotype, but so I want to know where Jarvis Laurie finally heard that Doctor Manet was like in this one special place. And how there was literally no buildup to getting him out of like this prison. Like the, these prison guards, I guess, are just like, hey, we're sick of him now, so like you wanna come collect. There's no buildup, there's no nothing. Plot holes, am I right? Plot holes suck. You know what doesn't suck though? The movie holes. Shia LaBeouf, great guy. How is Sidney Carton a great lawyer when he's drunk all the time? Like, honestly, he spent all this money to go to law school, pre-law, I'm assuming he spent money on his college tuition, and then he becomes a lawyer, drinks his life away, but is still excellent at his job. He's, and he works with some idiot striver who's mean to him. Yeah, exactly. Why? Maybe that's why he's an alcoholic. Probably. Or because nobody loves him. Which is really sad. I mean, I hope his mom loved him at one point. Maybe? Does he have a mom? She's never addressed. Plot hole. Most. <laughs> okay. Why is everybody in love with Lucy? She's got not one, not two, but three guys in love with her. But I mean, I love Lucy, am I right? Why does everyone love her when she's two dimensional and, and she's freaking blonde and every character is always some blonde, blonde pretty girl who doesn't talk, who just is a typical wife and it's like, honestly really Dickens how, how is a character so two-dimensional supposed to be the golden thread that keeps the entire story together like I get it she saves her boyfriend she's a kid she's related to the doctor oh oh wait whoa, wait the time lapse we need to address the time lapse because she has a kid and the kid grows up out of nowhere like literally she didn't, holes. there was no so there was no holes. time for her to like there was no like is it a gestation? Gestation period? I don't know. There was no there was no time for her to actually grow that child inside of her uterus and then pop it out because that was never addressed. Okay, two potholes and Charles Dickens needs to get it together. Someone needs to tell little Lucy she was adopted. <laughs> Take one. There's a child. What did I do that to my name?
<laughs> the fact that we had to read. You take your time. Should we love it? <laughs> no. It's Take two. Um, woo! So first, um, oh. roast. That was horrifying. <laughs> I needed to stop because I knew he was going to walk in and I just was like, you have to get this over with now. But I'm roast! We're halfway done. Halfway done living our prayer. As soon as she hears that her death. It's already in. Renee, sit down! I was trying to help. How about the fact that as soon as she hears. Turner, make up your mind. Get her out. How about the fact? I'm trying to kill me. Alex, really? really? Oh, it's so hard. Roast. He lived. What? <laughs> Everybody loves Lucy. I love Lucy. Get out. I'm talking. Jared, I swear to God. <laughs> this is why we have no hope for love these days. Jared, you need to get it together. We're doing a project! Me too. There's so many times you should have zoomed in on my face like this. <laughs> I'm gonna start that over. I'm gonna start that over. So oh, why is my, my brows showing? I think I'm gonna Dress code! I'm not honest. I'm cutting you off. I'm just like, roast! <laughs> Coffee, courtesy of RK. I'm just like, story together. Like, I get it. She saves. Okay, so how is Jarvis Lori, this great lawyer, when Sneaker is yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I hate myself. Why did I choose you as my partner?